Can restaurants rethink how they use energy? Rising energy costs are pushing restaurants to rethink more than just their menus. They're now reimagining how they cook. In 2022 and 2023, restaurants across Europe were forced to make difficult decisions due to soaring utility bills. In Germany, the National Restaurant Association reported that nearly 23% of restaurants reduced their operations by closing on certain days. In the UK, rising energy costs hit the restaurant sector hard. Popular chefs and major restaurant groups simplified their menus, choosing dishes that require less energy. Many restaurants and cafes also shortened their operating hours or closed on certain days to save energy. In cities like Rome and Naples in Italy, some restaurants dimmed their lights turned down the heat and began serving meals by candlelight. Menus featured slow-cooked stews and midze that required minimal energy. By 2025, restaurants are going beyond just saving energy. They are adopting conscious and efficient cooking systems. The methods now carry meaning, care and awareness. Less energy, more value. The future kitchen, energy synchronization and modular system. A new vision is emerging. Kitchens where systems don't work in isolation, but in sync. One of the most innovative concepts comes from a European R&D team. SMAC, Smart Modular Energy Conserving Kitchen. This prototype combines a modular kitchen with a central heat pump system. It recycles excess heat from one appliance, for example, an oven, and redistributes it to other functions, steam cooking, hot water for dishwashing, or warming storage cabinets. Even more exciting, this system is designed to integrate with solar panels running on renewable energy. Though still in testing, it offers a visionary look into kitchens that reduce overall energy demand, optimize space, and rethink how we power cooking, cleaning, and storage. Though not yet used in homes or restaurants, systems like this can pave the way for synchronized energy management in the kitchens of the future. In comparison, systems like Arcelic Therma Green and Alarco Plus focus on heating and cooling with heat pumps, promising steps for buildings, but not yet tailored to the specific needs of restaurants. Some traditional cooking methods are also making a comeback. Thermal cooking, also known as the hay box method, is one example. Food is briefly heated, then placed in insulated containers to continue cooking using its retained heat. Used in China, Sweden, and university canteens, this method can cut energy use by up to 50%. In open-air environments, solar-powered cookers, like the Soul Source, reach up to 350 Celsius, boil water in 10 minutes, and cook hot meals without using gas or electricity. They've been tested in California, Morocco, and southern Spain. Thermal and solar cooking systems are especially useful in outdoor settings, such as field kitchens in disaster relief, festival catering, or remote areas. In these environments, they minimize reliance on conventional energy and offer adaptable, low-impact alternatives. In some European university canteens and community kitchens, solar cookers and thermal containers are being tested as part of low-energy meal programs, highlighting their potential beyond domestic use. Some dishes can be prepared entirely without cooking, saving energy while preserving maximum nutritional value. Example, raw beet and apple carpaccio, Thinly sliced beetroot and apple, tossed with pomegranate molasses, olive oil, and crushed walnuts. No cooking needed. Balanced, aromatic, and highly nutritious. Some restaurants are now building entire menu sections around low-energy concepts. With a focus on plant-based proteins, cooking times are shortened and energy consumption is reduced. We're not just cooking anymore. We are rethinking what energy means in the kitchen. In tomorrow's kitchens, energy won't just be measured. It will be intentionally shaped. Portions may shrink, but ideas grow. We're cooking value, balance, and awareness.